How's it going, guys? Bloody Vintage. Just wanted to show you the cha cha chin strap to a Vietnam M1 helmet. Now you can see I got the uh, the one side, I guess you call it the female side here. That's nice and attached. The other one is uh, is missing. This uh, helmet is nice and salty, as you can see. Um, nice little piece. So I want to show you how to put it on. So I guess first note that usually, um, or I should say usually, almost always on the left side, if you're wearing it, you should have the male side, meaning the hook, okay? So on the other side, you're gonna have the longer piece. So we're working now with the uh, the right side. So flip it upside down. This one's got a swivel bail. Uh, pretty much, if you have a fixed bail, I wouldn't uh, I wouldn't put these on. I would uh, I would sew some OD3 ones on and uh, make a World War II. Anyways, so you're gonna get a clip that looks like this. Make sure your end looks like that. You might be missing that little piece, and it'll just look like that. It can still work, but this little piece is the uh, the T1 faster for the quick release. Or I should say the last release, whatever you want to call it. Okay, so you're going to take this and you're really going to grab it to the outside because you want the top of the bale to sit right in here. Or I should say the end of the bale. So we're going to grab like that. So I'm going to show you how I'm doing it slowly. Turn it upside down. As well as if you're wondering how to do all the fabric. Um, put it one slide through there like you're doing a belt and cut off the end or keep this end nice and short. You can fold it back in, but I find that just creates too much fabric because eventually you want to sit this flat and I'll show you why. Okay, so I'm gonna take this, gonna grab it slowly, gonna come nice and close here. This is usually the tough part and usually I find it's easier if you go around and in. You might even have to close these a little bit more. Because I already have this in and then I wanted to do the video, so. There, okay. So now I have this facing up. So the best way to think about it is if you're wearing it, as you can see from this one, if you're wearing it, you want that nice metal piece to be facing um, out, the flat piece, okay? When you're transporting it and folding it back up, you can see the back of it. Reason for that is technically, you know, it's designed to be worn, Exactly, it should strap closed. They don't want this catching on things. If you have this and these little ends can catch on foliage, etc. Okay, so back to here. Very simple. Uh, we are literally just going to take this. I'm gonna bend this in behind. As you can see, because I want that to grab that fabric for my chin strap. There's a bunch of different ways to do it. This seems like the most common way, but now I'm second guessing it as I'm looking over my other one. So I'm gonna make sure I'm doing this right. As I think there's a better way to do it, one second. Okay, so I believe I was right there. So like I said, you're gonna take this, now you're gonna start to bend this piece, okay? You have to bend it in, okay? Grab that, and really, the goal is to nicely fold that in there and over. Create that nice and flat surface. Keep bending. Okay, and you might need some help from some pliers. I'm gonna grab out my, uh, one of these 19, 1950 data pliers. We're gonna kind of go oh, uh, legit OG here. Sorry, my hand keeps getting away, guys. So we're gonna pinch. Okay, that might not always do it. Sometimes you gotta pinch, hold. Okay. And I'm gonna get these guys down. And remember, these will snap at these weak points, okay? These little weak points right here, these will definitely snap off. You can still wear them, still use them. But I'm just cautioning you. And again, you're gonna forget, you're gonna wanna do it like that. Don't forget to fold it up and in. And when you do, just make sure that this is going to face the right way. That obviously this is facing to the outside of the helmet. So you can see right here. So if I fold it in, it'd be facing to the outside. That would be facing my chin. 
So I'm gonna pull that out now. Got a hopefully nicer end. Kind of helps someone gives it a little, little pinch there. Make sure I don't cut myself here too. Because as you can see, sometimes this is actually, I, I found this easiest to do with a, um, with just a knife, like a flat, a flat knife. And sometimes it's better to hold it like this, pinched, and then bring these pieces in. So it can be kind of difficult, and I'm, again, making it more difficult to myself by showing you this video and doing that. Uh, I'm just trying to see what I have here for a knife. So I got my linesman tool. Didn't probably use. So I got my linesman tool here. I'm gonna use this to kind of press it down flat. And realistically, it should not be this hard. And if I had wider pliers, I would be able to get these at both ends, but I did not obviously plan ahead. Kind of do these videos in the moment sometimes. So I did not plan to show you all this today. Sorry, I keep digging out of the frame there. It's just uh, more convenient. See, it's come all the way up, so let's try again. So I got the one side on. I found it's just easier to hold it with your thumb. Get the pair of pliers. Kind of thrust over and in. And tighten those up. And I'm going to leave mine just a tad loose just to make sure everything's okay just remember you can break a lot on these guys Let's see how that looks it's not too bad i can probably pinch that in a little bit more on that side but as you can see that's the weak point you don't want to give that too much so really that's all you need to know about how to put on a m1 chin strap on a helmet there you go, see, the side face is out. There you go. You always get left with this kind of rough piece, you can cut it off or kind of pull it in a little bit. Um, there's probably another way you could do it where you'd loop it in the opposite way. That would probably make it look nicer. Uh, there's a few different ways of doing it. I'll see if I can put my other one up here really quickly that has it. Yeah, it's been done kind of similar. Like, this one's pretty crushed, though. But I can see how, how it's been kind of done roughly as well. So you're going to find a million different ways these have been done. So just do whatever you feel like. If you feel like you want to loop this long piece over and then in, you can do that, too. Uh, but the only problem with that is that loose cut piece is going to be sitting right here. So you're going to have a loose end cut off right there. If it slips through, comes out, you're done. So that's probably why this is the best way to do it. Okay, guys. Hope that helped.